With your companions assembled, you make your way once more into the tangle. This is an old ground, a familiar ground. But the Dreaming General has proved more dangerous of late. You just hope he won't be too much trouble this time. What's up, everyone? It's Loki Orn, and we're back at it. Uh, taking out the formation, the Burning Stars, as we head into the Tangle. Thank you again to Uncapped Frame for recommending the uh, recommending we do this run next, as well as uh, naming our Crusader, Magnus Stormwrath. So we do have the Lair right at the end. We have to give up the Oasis for it. That's uh, a little unfortunate, but an early creature den. Two armor, three armor for that. Good lord. And it would be, we wouldn't lose any of our wheels though. So that's actually probably the play. We go to the watchtower first. Consider all oh, everyone wants to fight. Do it quickly. Uh, we are running Pliskin, so we probably don't need the healing. That's that's a lot of stress Each healing. That is where they'll make their move. I probably would have liked to uh, go to that watchtower, but I don't know that uh, I don't know that I want it that bad. So, yeah, hope everyone's doing well out there as we dive in. Um, wanted to say thank you to uh, the folks who've been um, commenting and watching the two d six dungeon run I'm doing. Uh, the next uh, the next floor will be coming out soon. It is in editing and process right now. Uh, but it was it was nice to see that you know people people are at least willing to give me a shot on that so I appreciate that very much and uh, if you haven't watched it uh, why not give it a why not give it a look it's uh, you know definitely worth the uh, the price of admission here ooh jeez as we uh, get the get most of these most of these guys gone yeah we're, we're gonna try to make some of this dragonfly dancing work but I'm wondering if that's actually the play here because it doesn't feel like it's doing a whole heck of a lot an invariable result. So we will we'll have to figure that out. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even see when we reset our crusader, we got the we got the jinx and kleptomaniac. Well, obviously I can never remove the kleptomaniac as a choice because kleptomaniac is just canon canon uh crusader here. Um, I didn't even think about that, but yeah, the Jinx on the Crusader is quite nice. The Jinx in general is just a very nice, uh, very nice trait to have. Um, yeah, well, ooh. man, these things are critting for days when it comes to, uh, comes to these reposts. A calculated generosity, but a welcome one nonetheless. get our burn going very nice yeah so the more I the more I run this the more it feels like dragonfly is not the play even though it's a really strong skill with the the back one and the four burn but unless the problem is we don't really have we don't have a good way to move we don't really have a good way to move the crusader back to to take advantage of holy lance so he can be dan bonnie can be dancing with him using ransack but ransack is not really that great of a skill unless you're hitting with a combo point i don't think so I don't know. Uh, we're definitely fighting. It sucks to lose the relationship, but we're not... I mean, we're not running away this early. Mm. This is a good... This is actually a really good test for us. Um, so this is a good fight to test how how well you're going to do against the, um, the Dreaming General. 
uh, because this is all about hitting the fourth reg. You need to kill this guy before you're going to get to do anything else. So can you reliably hit the fourth rank while kind of mitigating a lot of damage that's just going to be coming in hot and heavy? Just spreading this burn. It's also a kind of a, a random opportunity for us to try out... Um, to give controlled burn its day in the sun. Right, so he should be... Ticking away here. Very nice. But yeah. Let's see. What to talk about while we finish up this fight. Uh, well, I don't know. Darkest Dungeon 2 feels like it's in a pretty good place. There's not a lot to complain about or talk about. Because it's just like... We're just kind of grinding the uh, the different runs. They all feel... They all feel interesting. Somewhat, somewhat unique. I mean, there's definitely some overlap. Because there are certain formations that are just... I mean, they're doing the same thing as another formation, but I don't know that that's Darkest Dungeon 2's fault. That's, you know, if you have these four characters and you rearrange them different ways, you get the same outcome, basically. So he's dead next turn anyway, so we can actually, yeah, we can take the turn off and battle heal here. Nice solid win and a mastery point. It's quite nice. Ooh, Armory Key is a good pickup. We like that. Because Armory Key is this can be the start of fixing... Um, if we can put it on... like One good spot's the Crusader. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I guess we'll press on to the Creature Dim. Sucks to lose the wheel, but I don't think we'll need it. Um, but we put on the Crusader with Reverberating Bulwark if we get it. And that ends up being a lot of extra HP just for, you know, kind of showing up. Alternatively, we could shore up the um, either our Alchemist or Warlock with additional, um, additional HP. Damage, if we get a weapon, probably someplace we can use that. And the Armory Key is just kind of generically kind of decent. There was an advantage we could take there, but I don't think we will. Like, going with the Crusader just means we get the, the double up. Let's just get everybody burning. Wow, the controlled burn is feeling a lot better. That seven burn, or that, that four burn on the initial application. Well, three burn, but did we, are we getting four from somewhere? No, should be three. Okay, yeah, I guess it is three. But that three burn off initial application really helps the skill do its job. So that one's that guy's dead. That guy's definitely dead. Okay. So only the dogs will be left, but that's fine with us. Bonnie's taken a lot of hits. That's de that's definitely been something I've noticed in this formation. We're, we've got. The runaway is up front and taking the hits. Maybe Arsonist was a bad call there. Maybe she should be uh Should be something else. And actually with the um, I mean Arsonist is just good, but she doesn't she's not dealing the damage, so we maybe need to be 
kind of want to work backdraft in if we can. Take a bit of a setup turn here. Let's go heal that burn because we can. Malayan. Measured. Those, uh, the Vanquisher is turning out to be quite a good uh, pickup here. It says here you're a heretic! We do need to get rid of those Dodge Plus tokens, so we may as well do that. Alright, so that worm is gone. Just prevent him from eating the corpse. Good, that one's gone. Ow. Man, the blight has, uh... The blight is really stacked up here. Kind of out of, not nowhere, but kind of out of left field, feels like. Right, there's Death's Door. Off by, off by one to prevent that necrophagia, which is unfortunate, but... Oh, look at that. Fully, fully gassed back up. All right, well. <laughs> Just sticking with the burning stars here. And I'm actually going to extend the fight here. We're going to we're going to do that. Cuz I want to get a stress heal off here. And this thing's blind and ticking down, so yeah, there we go. Now Reynold is going to take like 9 here. Which we'll we'll fix next turn, but that two point stress heal is pretty pretty relevant, I think. There we go. Welcome relief from caustic agony. There we go. A decisive win. Round eight, but, you know, what are you going to do? Combat and in items. Okay. That's that's pretty good. That's a good another another good opportunity to gas up with uh, a bunch of good items, especially if we roll a decent in that's got some good, good stuff in it. <laughs> Looks like this is going to be a fairly straightforward zone. We've got just one unknown. be real nice if it was a field hospital, because I think there's some... Um, we're going to be a little short on money, but there's some stuff we could get out of that. Locking in the Jinx would be good, but also locking in, like, Tough or Vanquisher would actually be pretty decent, too. So it brings no satisfaction. Eh. Resigned to the end of things. They waited for death. And Ooh, double bishop. Did. Double bishop. What does it mean? Well, let's... Guess let's let's set the world on fire. The enemy weakens and wanes. And get get a uh, Magnus absorbing damage. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Well, we absorbed two purge the unworthies, which is something. 
Of course, that means Bonnie just gets hammered down by the foot soldiers. So that's you dead for sure, and you're almost dead. Four, three, nice. Okay, both, both. We got, we got them both there. Very good. Makes this a lot easier on us. Man, they just really want Bonnie for some reason. Having a hazard get hit isn't good either. The small Bleed? Ah. Trust. Here we go. We're just going to spend some time kind of patching our people up as best we can. We'll set up Magnus to... Uh, ugh. We'll set up Magnus to try to tank some more here. Bulwark is still down. So we're just chopping this turn. We'll stall just a little bit here. Bleed? Ah. Denied once more. So there's Death's Door. Nice, the blind paid off. That smoke screen did its job. Um. Yeah, there's nothing to stall for. In this weighty gloom, a spark. I guess we'll take it. Distracting dust is not my favorite thing. Giving crit tokens to the enemy is not my favorite thing. But blind is decent. So maybe we'll give it a shot. We're a little light on trinkets anyway, so we do need to, like, fill in that gap. Okay. Straight into Song of Shadows, you say. That's kind of rude. We'll just set Magnus up for success. We did have the option of throwing the controlled burn on the urchin, but I think there's decent odds that the um, yeah, the plague doctor and Alhazred could combo to get it, get it done. Oof. Magnus is doing his best. Oh, protect the child is nice. It's actually sort of irrelevant. Yeah, okay. Even though it doesn't heal, just getting rid of the burn, reducing that damage is, is worth something to us. And that's the problem with Ransack. It doesn't hit very hard. Jeez. And Bonnie just takes it on the chin for nothing there. There we go. I was against hastened enemies too. An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well known mm. relics. Alright.
I actually just put that back on Paracelsus. Even though she doesn't do the best with... Like, she's not the the most amazing person with crits. Um, she does she does benefit from them, and the vulnerables are less likely to be a problem. So, vacant and resigned. The lost battalion Jeez. shambles on. Had a lot of, like, split, split party... Oh my gosh! Damn. Had a lot of split party decisions, but apparently they knew something I didn't, because, uh... Wowza. That is a lot of incoming. We are about to take a lot of damage. Bleeds are okay. Bleeds we can work with. All right, two bleeds into Alhazard's chest is less what we of what we were looking for, but we'll make it work. All right, you're dead. You're dead. Wonderful. The enemy weakens and wanes. Just set up, set up the tank here. Oof. We'll actually let him tick here because he'll he'll get close enough for us to do something with it. So there we go, Bulwark of Faith, just sort of keeping him alive. Nothing really to stall for. Yeah, just take the 5 HP. Yeah, 5 HP and two, two points of stress is pretty worthwhile. More money and another mastery point. We've been quite lucky with those mastery points. We're up to three, four already. That's, uh, that's pretty nice. All right, heading into the lair. We'll do this road battle first, then we'll take a quick pause to decide how best to deal with the lair. Oh, okay, nice. Nice, easy, uh, well, knock on wood. Nice, easy, uh, road, road battle ahead of the lair. Phew. Woof. Of course, my reward is these things hitting like freight trains. Okay, good. The widow's gone. And that's you good. We're gonna we're gonna try to see if this uh, this stress ticks up to five so that we can heal it. Just keep knocking off the blights and stuff. Yep, there it is. No, oh, it's not what we wanted. It was the opposite of what we wanted. Shouldn't have done it. I should have just smoke screened or something. Let it die. All right, we're getting all of the like if if you know if one you know like either a good thing bad thing kind of stuff trinkets, which are not my favorite. Definitely not my favorite trinkets, but uh, we'll have to make you do. All right, what do we got? That does nothing. 
you're as ready as you're ever going to be. You're feeling okay. Feeling okay. This is she can ransack, so we we're good across the line here. This feels okay. All right. No, we're not as uh, not as equipped as I'd like to be, but I think we're good enough here. Kind of depends on how these these initial battles go. God, head injury has just been in our business every step of the way. Like fifty fifty percent of the time, it triggers every time. Oh my god. What the hell? Three crits in a row? Man. Wowza. Game is the game is letting me know that it is not it I have somehow displeased it. Let's just get let's get some damage going here. Measured and steady. We do have the two healing selves, so we're not like unav unavoidably bad off right now, but we are definitely taken. Good lord. Getting three crits in a row was pretty bad. But now it's time, it's time to put the, uh, you know, time to put it to the test. I said this, this formation had ample healing and could sort of uh, muddle its way through on the back of that. So let's, let's put that to the test here. I mean, we did just basically heal the Crusader to full, so. So you're dead, you're gonna tick out eventually. We do need to keep getting this stress down. We do have a lot of healing resources. But our stress our stress management game is starting to get a little bit out of hand. Here we go. Nice dodge, okay. So we let him live here, because he's dead anyway, so we, we do get one more stress heal off. So we did manage to get, like, all the stress heals done. But unfortunately, everyone is above half. Oh, we're not running after one. We never run after one. Our flight keeps getting lower, which is a little concerning. And these are elite. Ugh. Steady yourself. Oh my. <laughs> what? What the hell? It's not great to be throwing the controlled burn on rank four because it's kind of hard to keep dealing damage back there, but we we just need it to... We need it to keep doing its job. These aren't even ordained enemies. We're just getting hammered right now. Kind of doesn't bode well for us, does it?
Dead? Off by one. Okay. Okay, nice. Ah, not enough damage, unfortunately. But we can try to concentrate concentrate the damage on Magnus here. And just heal him for a bunch. Alright, so this guy's dead no matter what happens, so I don't think we need to worry about it. Combo, get some big damage there. There we go, that execution paying off a little bit. Basically turns into stress heal if, if they're burning. We do this so that we can do this. And nice. Blind again doing its job here. So now he's gone. Sort of stalling out here to let the Crusader get that extra point of healing, two points of HP. May or may not matter, but it's definitely more than it was, you know, more than we started with, so it's a win. Okay, what are we playing for? Clenching Claws is pretty good. Footman's Grog is not bad. General's Dream is irrelevant. Alchemical and Bottle Case, neither are, well, these are actually sort of a, a combo, they do work together. All right, good enough. Clenching Claws does sort of get it done for us. Locked in a nightmare slumber. He is tortured right. by failures both real and imagined. Kind of sucks to waste this crypt token. This does make sure that this burn applies. And sticks and lasts for five turns, which is pretty appealing. There we go. Let's get let's get some big burn going here. It's unfortunate that our plague doctor's in rank four because this does kind of feel like it could be a cause of death formation, but we we again we just don't. This formation is really immobile. It doesn't really like yeah. It doesn't really shift positions very well. The only real dancing character is. Um, Bonnie and she's not that keen on uh she's not that keen on dancing well actually she's really keen on it but nobody else is I should say all right yeah sure I don't know if it's right to break the roots here and get a uh get a soil stirs but i think i think we ha it, it's gonna happen so we kind of need to like ugh. we're hoping to avoid that a little help impeccably timed malaise measured and steady I actually think we spend the healing salve there and patch patch her up the rest of the way. Because she's going to take this big hit. We don't really have a way to prevent it. So instead, we'll just kind of use the opportunity to keep it, keep it running. 
We are getting to stack. Like, this would be a huge cause of death. Oh my god. Straight to 30? Damn. Wow. Just straight to 30, 30 points of damage. That was that was rude in the extreme. Now, thankfully, I do get to do that. We do get to do that, so... And he is ticking for just huge chunks every turn. Our stress is getting a little unmanageable, but I don't... I don't think I can take turns off right now. I think I need to keep the, um... I think I need to keep the damage ticking. 31 next turn? Alright. Now, the Crusader gets grabbed, but the Crusader is kind of the last one last one to go most of the time so that's okay 38 crusader gets released nice the soil stirs is not on the plague doctor again all right 34 there's death door oh nice we're gonna get the execution here Because the Plague Doctor knocks off one armor. I mean, he's dead anyway, but there's the execution. Whew. That worked, that worked out, but I think... Uh, whether by intention or design, I managed to time it so that we got the... Um, we managed to get sort of the optimal... Um, geez. We managed to get sort of the... We timed it right so that we got the, um, the outcome we were looking for of... Yeah. Put that right there for now. Uh, we got... We timed it right so that when we started the race, we were in a position to win the race, is what I'm trying to say. Wow! Alhazard and Bonnie are down to three relationship. Keep in mind that we haven't, like, had a meltdown or anything. They just... They just freaking hate each other for some reason. All right, our stress is through the moon here, which is not really where we want to be. Well done. But two points of stress healing. Let's get our uh, stress healing going, I guess. This repost is really kind of mucking us up a little bit, isn't it? Those bleeds are okay, and clenching claws triggering a... Uh, Triggering a, uh, a stun stun token was quite nice. Ended up being irrelevant, but, you know. The principle was there. A little help impeccably timed. Alright, there we go. Alright, now we can now we can stall and stabilize a little bit. Once again, time to like put some of the, the healing I've alleged. Well, never mind, this is gonna be our last turn, so. Let's get our HP sorted. Stress is still way too high, but we we kind of identified that at the start that this uh, that this formation was going to be able to recover a lot of HP if pressed, but not a lot of stress healing. Formless statue, combat items, or a trinket or a thing. I don't really feel compelled to grab the 
the quirk. Darkly Curious is probably fine. A couple of otherworldly fragments actually really fits with what this formation is doing. Yeah, this really feels like a cause... This feels like it is inches away from a cause of death formation. But the, um... The Plague Doctor is just so immobile. And the, and the, and the Occultist as well is just too immobile to make it, make it work. Um... All right, the altar can be really annoying, so let's just let's just get that running here. And it looks like we're about to get just hammered, but hey, bleeds bleeds are good for us. We we work with bleeds right now. The altar of ambition. Nocturne Commune. Alright, so they are getting an extra turn. Can we... 26 HP? Nah, there's no way we, we do enough for that. Not, not, not especially when we need to kill the hair. Well... Do we need to kill the Herald now? We kind of do. Yeah. Let's make sure the Herald's gone. A promising development. Eight. Twenty-three, yeah. It was going to be pretty unlikely for us to get that done. Yeah, especially if we were going to be blind. Steady your good news is she is hitting death's door this round so and the herald is gone right yeah so okay that's one down cauterized to fix that bleed and now we're just gonna have to start spamming stress heals it looks like Stress heal ourselves first. Put put your own mask on before helping others. All right, there we go. We're quite stable now, so I mean this this fight is over, for all intents and purposes. It's more just how much. I, it looks like I can get at least one more stress heal off. Yeah, I'm gonna get one more stress heal off. So. May as well do that. The slow suffering begins. We're trying with this stress. We are trying our little hearts out. All right, fine. Let's just let's just end it. We get one more cauterized heal in. That's the best we can do here. Oh, use limit exceeded. All right, never mind. We get nothing. That's okay, though. That is okay with us. Bleed resistance kind of actively bad for us. Sharpness charm is actually kind of... I mean, we can just kind of put that on Magnus, because his speed's already the lowest. But Footman's Grog is pretty good. I don't know that Sharpness charm has a home. We can carry it for now, but I don't know that it has a home. But yeah, thank you all uh, for watching as we head into the inn here. Uh, we'll do the like, comment, subscribe thing now. You know the drill. Let the YouTube algorithm know. I make content that you and people like you like to watch. Let's do the inn now. We did get an invigorating stew proc right at the end, which is nice, because that means we don't have to think about food. Rest 
The Shambler's Altar. Actually, no, okay. The Shambler's Altar is not as bad as I thought it was. Second win. Soft. Ooh, Soft needs to go. Magnus, Magnus Storm is now vicious or vigilant. Yeah. Yeah, that'll. I think that'll. I think we'll call that a win. Three more candles, which I don't care about, but I guess we, we got. Yeah, it just seems like a good thing to put put in. Spend our Stitchers kits just to get HP back up. We will head into the sluice. Um, as much as I'd like to do the sprawl or shroud, the sluice is just it's just it's just kind of a free zone for us. Free opportunity to catch our breath and maybe like get some get some bonus loot of some kind. We do have discounts here. A Raven's Reach, that's actually uh, that's actually pretty material for um, Alhazred. A Say Gear, Storage Trunk. I think Raven's Reach gets to come along. Uh, rousing, rousing Tunes, Touching come? Dirges, I think those can both come along. Kind of wondering about that Almanac. Ooh, Adrenaline Tonic, we definitely want those. Couple of glimmers of hope are tempting. There's some good items in here. Ooh, actually, we're gonna we're gonna end up buying those. So let's go ahead and spend them. Um, get our stress down. Okay, that was a good start. Oh, that was bad. All right, so we do have we do still have some relationship problems here. I don't normally like using pipeweed because it, it slows your uh, party down quite a lot. But, uh... Did do a lot of stress healing and it did ba it did mostly fix the relationship. What else can we get? Whiskey, whiskey bottle could do it. Whiskey flask is real cheap for us right now, so let's Something buy those. The rigors of the road. We're just trying to prevent a negative relationship here. Eh, getting to eight is not great because eight eight is still unfriendly, so we need one more tick. Can we get that from somewhere? Whiskey bottle, knotted rope. Nope, that was that was the end. We're unlikely to find a field hospital, so we probably should finish stocking up here. Grab those. Grab the rope, grab some holy beads. Grab the idol. We're not really a bleed comp, we're a burn comp, but the, the shroud is worth potentially going to, but I think we'll buy the storage trunk instead, save the rest. Um, cause we, we actually do kind of want to get to the, um, the next stop is we do kind of want to get to the, um, the, the sprawl at least wants to pick up some of the burn tokens. We've been using bulwark of faith quite a lot. Um, smite stress healing for two is pretty tempting. Play grenade and uh, noxious blast have been getting their use. I don't think we need to do anything else. Bissell artillery is a decent upgrade. And, um... We're going to give Controlled Burn its upgrade. I think. Yeah, we'll give Controlled Burn its upgrade. We've been using it. It's been doing decent. Um, we're not, we're not going to use the General's Dream. Um, well, this formation doesn't really care about being locked into place. But getting... Um, getting, uh, getting ambushed would make it real bad. So let's not... And say we did. And that'll do it. All right. Thank you all for watching. Tune in next time as we take uh, the Burning Stars into the sluice. Till then, see ya.